What's up, Taurus? This is Soul. And Taurus, this is your two week ahead in terms of messages beginning September 25th through October 8th, 2017. The messages will also be for Taurus uh, Moon and Taurus Rising. All right, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your uh, messages here for the next two weeks. And uh, it doesn't look too uh, too bad. It doesn't, at least the feel that I'm getting, you don't really have any negative cards here, but the overall energy uh, for some of you is whatever is going on for you, this is a general reading, there's positive energy moving forward. Things, you know, about or to begin to move forward for you uh, in the upright, the six of swords is showing up that maybe there was some sort of, um, you know, turbulence or turmoil from the past connected to a relationship or any other area or aspect of your life. This is just not an exclusive reading for love. So positive energy moving forward. It's a traveling car for me. So someone is traveling within this two week period of time. The only thing that I'm getting uh with this traveling that some of you if you haven't already laid your plans down someone's indecisive about where they want to travel it might be that someone who is close to you or that someone that you know uh is indecisive yeah indecisive about traveling towards you okay this is a male female uh younger energy it's a page of swords could be related to gemini libra aquarius um it's in the reverse, so someone's un it crosses the Six of Swords, by the way. So that means that somebody's having some sort of indecision about either traveling or some other aspect going on, all right? And it's involving another person. Definitely involving another person since the page shows up. And like I said before, it could be male or female. Indecision still continues with the Ace of Swords in the reverse that follows the Page of uh, Swords. This is still like a card of victory and success, but someone has to make up their mind and what they're going to do. All right. Now, the I'm jumping around a bit here because I'm getting the message to connect the dot. Someone's uh, undecided about maybe possibly relocating to a different area. Maybe this is the traveling aspect that I'm getting and there's some sort of indecision. Maybe something was brought to your attention. I don't know if it's related to a relationship or it could be like a future job potential but you're not sure about whether or not you should take that plunge. Aces, fresh starts, new beginnings is always, um, even if it's in the reverse, is some sort of victory and success. You just have to make up your mind in which direction uh, that you're going to do. Now, if I was going to do this reading sequentially, as I've stated in other videos, anything that's on the bottom could open up, you know, on the top and vice versa. So just, you know, be able to expand your mind to receive all the energy and the messages that I'm giving you. So the um, five of cups is in the reverse. So that's actually pretty good. So it's overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment. Now, it may be directly related to uh, a relationship or romantic relationship, but also too because the cups represent children. It might have been that, you know, some children of uh, Taurus who may have been um, that may be water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, something possibly uh, will occur or happen with them that happened back here in the past and they're getting over some sort of letdown or disappointment. If it's you directly, it could be uh, in a relationship with a water sign, okay? It could be the water sign's energy alone and not specific to you. The um, five like tens are clearing of energies, potentials of things to come when they're in the upright. Then when they're in the reverse, that means that energy is starting to clear away or move away from you. So this is good. Someone's getting over some sort of letdown or disappointment attached to either an event, an actual person or a situation. All right, Taurus, what's up next is your energy, the pentacles, two of pentacles, the ending of juggling two things. OK, down your back into balance. Two things is whatever it is for you. Two relationships, two jobs, you know, two kids. Um, Earth sign energies, like I said, comes into play. Your energy and that of Capricorn and Virgo, male or female. And I feel that there is uh, something going on specific with kids uh, for some of you because the Two of Pentacles is underneath this page, which is always youthful, younger energy. So maybe there was something that you had to do in terms of balancing something out related to the children. 
Uh, next up, I already spoke about the four of wands. Someone's either trying to purchase a home, relocate to a different area. Someone's actually trying to re uh, cohabitate with someone. This could be someone that you've been dating for a while. And maybe this is the swords energy saying you're undecided or in decision or some sort of in undecision about making or taking that plunge. The heart shows up and this is always a structure or, you know, for me, it's always a structure of a building. Um, but it's also related to uh, cohabitation, relocation, um, transference of, you know, moving from one area to the next. Um, yeah, but I feel it's more love. Somebody may, may be undecided about moving in with someone that they've been dating for a minute. And it sits underneath this uh, Ace of Swords, okay? Go ahead and take the plunge. Then the Ace will flip up. Then you'll achieve fuller victory and success, whatever that is. Then the uh, Four of Wands, I'm sorry, the Six of Wands. So this might be the completion of the traveling card because this is also a traveling card too. But the Six of Wands is in the reverse. So at the end of the two weeks, so maybe you finally figure out if the, if the ones that I'm speaking to are uh, contemplating uh, travel is taken within the next two weeks. And then you made up your mind with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. And the Six of Wands is saying... That that's the completion of that traveling. And then also, too, it's the um, energy of fire signs. So it could be, you know, exchanges with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. And so is this four of wands energy, too. Um, victory and success. So I have two victory and success cards here that are in the reverse. So somebody's going to make up their mind and achieve some sort of victory and success by the tail end of the two weeks. Just think overall since you don't really have any majors here that the overall energy for the next two weeks is something positive moving forward six of swords energy okay whether that relates to traveling or not or relocation or moving just expect some sort of uh, positive energy for the next two weeks okay ending of juggling two things with the uh, two of pentacles in the reverse overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment or let down attached to either a romantic relationship or some other event or situation attached to you could be children involved since it mirrors the uh, page of swords some sort of minor conflict emotional minor conflict coming to an end all right so that's your reading taurus um, what i have selected uh, for you from the blue angel oracle deck uh is forever in my light and uh, forever in my light says, um, I am your guardian angel and I watch over you and those you love. You are all forever in my light. So there is no need to worry. All is well. Everyone is safe. My love has no borders. It is everywhere. Fill me in your heart and know that we are forever united by love. You are with me and I am with you. No matter where you are or where you're loved. I'm sorry, no matter where you are or where your loved ones are, I am all, I am there also. Okay, so this is your reading. Um, it might be just, you know, a message for those who need to hear the uh, message and none of this stuff up here may resonate with you or vice versa. Okay, but that's what I have for you, uh, Taurus, and this concludes your uh, reading for the next two weeks. Anyway. I uh, want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks, emphasizing safety, sending out a lot of love and light to you until I talk to you again, my bulls. Please be well. Bye.